So as an exercise science student, there's a lot of different career fields you can go into. I listed a few of them here. There's a lot of different options you can look at. Um, but a lot of times when students are struggling to figure out what direction they want to go, they're really focused on, you know, what are each individually do these jobs pay? What are the individual tasks in the job description? And while those are all very important things, I think what people need to do is start bigger. So when I work with students to help them determine what direction they want to go with their career, we start with what their values are. So sitting down and writing down what are the things that you need, no matter what situation you may be in, to find value and feel like you're fulfilling your purpose. So whether that's development of people, whether that's being able to lead groups of people towards a common outcome, whether that's uh, seeing people grow in their health and well-being. You know, there's some things that are going to be common to people throughout these jobs, but there's some things where you may find more of an emphasis on when you say write down three of them and what's your top priority. And when you determine what your values are and the things that mean the most to you, that can help guide you in a direction through some of these jobs. The other thing that we do is look at what your strengths are. And that doesn't just mean skills or individual pieces of knowledge. That means looking at what your personality type is and the things that you can be really gifted for to be able to uh, serve people, to be able to find validation, to fulfill those values that you have. And a lot of times those strengths tie in with what your values are, so it all kind of works in the same process. We use, for my graduate students, Strengths Finder. Uh, there's a lot of different groups, Gallup, and different organizations that have a strengths type test or assessment. They're not perfect, but they give you a good starting point to look at some of those things. When you determine what your values and your strengths are, that gives you a way better starting point to determine what your career direction, uh, what you want it to be, rather than just looking at a bunch of job descriptions and job openings. And then once we look at these two things, then we can look at these jobs and look at, okay, now economically, what do they pay? What is the job description? What am I qualified for? Are there skills that I need to build in order to be able to get this job? You can look at more things like that. But rather than starting small and looking at all these different things here and getting so overwhelmed with not knowing what direction you want to go, I recommend figuring these two things out first. And that's the same goes for whether you're a student in this situation or you're just even looking at determining if you want to move to a different job, if you want to start school again, all these different things. If you can look at values and your strengths, that will give you a way better base for determining what direction you want to go with your career.